Hey friends, please like and subscribe for more amazing stories. My name is Andy, and this is the story of the time my wife accused me of cheating on her when I was planning a special surprise for her all along. I noticed my wife Carrie and I's anniversary was coming up quickly, and I wanted to make it memorable. We hadn't had any romantic vacations or time together lately, so I knew I needed something big. I started to search online for a professional event planner to help me put together a fantastic surprise for my wife. I found the best rated one in our city and began texting with her right away. She told me that we had a lot to go over if I wanted to have the perfect surprise for my wife, so I didn't waste any time. Little did I know, Carrie was reading my text messages when I wasn't around. The event planner preferred to meet in person, so our texts were short and only explained when and where we were meeting. There was even one instance where Carrie followed me to the hotel the planner and I met at. She hid in the distance and watched us go inside the hotel together. And, of course, she assumed the worst. I can't believe he would meet another woman behind my back! Even a week before the surprise was scheduled, my mother came to town to visit. She stayed with Carrie and I, which was great. But then, before my mom left town, she said she needed to talk to me about something very important. Andy, I need to ask you something. What is it? Is everything okay? Carrie and I had a long talk. She confided to me that she thinks you were cheating on her. She is very upset and doesn't know what to do. I don't think you would do that, but I'm also not sure what to believe. Why would she think such a thing? I would never. Our anniversary is next week, and I'm working so hard to make sure it's perfect. Andy... She says she knows there is another woman. She has seen you with her in person. And she said there are text messages with this woman, too. That is the event planner I hired, not a mistress. Then you need to find a way to tell Carrie that. Otherwise, she is going to threaten to leave you. Then your anniversary will truly be ruined. I was stuck with a decision to make. If I told Carrie who the event planner was... It would completely give away the surprise. There wouldn't be a point anymore. I'd already put so much time and money into the event. Of course I didn't want my wife hurting or worrying about our marriage, but I wasn't willing to give up on the surprise either. I wish so badly she could trust me more. A few days later, it was the final day that my event planner and I would be meeting. Everything was ready to go for the surprise at the hotel. All we needed to go over was the final touches. She and I met at the hotel and went into the bar. I bought us a round of drinks to celebrate how much we had accomplished. The event planner worked so hard, and I could tell she truly cared about making my wife happy. It was nice to have a woman's perspective on things, too. It's been great working with you, Andy. I cannot wait to see Carrie's face when she walks through those doors! <laughs> I can't thank you enough for all your help. I couldn't have done it without you. The next day was our anniversary, and I woke up extra early to get to the hotel. Little did I know that one of my wife's friends saw me meet with the event planner and go into the hotel together. She immediately called my wife to tell her I was meeting another woman at a resort. The next thing I knew, Carrie was bursting into the hotel, full of emotion. It wasn't the happy emotion that I had hoped to see. She was yelling and crying as she assumed the worst of me again. Who is this woman you've been seeing, Andy? I don't understand what I did to deserve this! Carrie, it's not like that. Please let me explain. <sighs> She's right there! And you expect me to let you explain? Carrie was acting so irrationally, and I was embarrassed. The whole surprise was for her, and she barely noticed anything that we put together. There were balloons and catered food, even a few wrapped gifts that I took my time picking out. All she could do was glare at the event planner and accuse her of being my mistress. I know you've been texting your mistress constantly to meet up at this hotel! I've seen you and her myself, and even my friends have seen you! You didn't even try to hide it! This was all for you! Every bit of it! All to celebrate our anniversary, and how much I love you. I hired her to help me plan everything. We had meetings together. She was excited for you to see it, but it all just feels ruined now. Carrie finally stopped to listen to me, and I saw her emotions change. She was no longer erratic, she just looked ashamed of herself for thinking I was a horrible husband who cheated on our anniversary. 
I know you even told my mom I was cheating too. I could have cleared this up sooner, but that would have meant I would ruin the surprise. I understand now. I had no idea. I saw the texts in the hotel visits and got scared. I shouldn't have jumped to conclusions, though. I'm sorry, Andy. All I wanted was to make this anniversary our best one yet. It still can be. It should be. Because you worked so hard. I could tell Carrie was ashamed of her behavior. I stepped aside to let her apologize to the event planner, who seemed very understanding about the situation. She still wanted my wife and I to have an amazing anniversary as we planned all along. Carrie apologized to me again and thanked me for everything I did. I didn't want to waste any more time, so we moved forward and enjoyed our time at the resort. She told me how much she loved me and how much it meant to her that I went above and beyond for our special day. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.